Today I would like to share an idea how to quickly put something in front of a green screen and create some stunning images. I have a friend who has a vintage Vespa. I think it's from the mid-60s. Don't quote me on it, but I think that's about the age of it. And it's in perfect condition, so I had it here and um, I worked over it, uh, spruced it up a little bit, make it really nice and shiny. And uh, he wanted some nice uh, photographs of it. So what I did, I put it in front of my green screen, which I have here in the office, which is three by six meters, and um, took a few images and uh, then decided on which would be the nicest image to work with. And sort of looked on the internet for some stunning backgrounds, like um, Colosseum type picture and a big plaza and a cafe somewhere in the city and something with the Eiffel Tower and you name it, it's all, it's all there. And then I loaded all the images into iMovie and um, then start doing the, doing the transformation. So the first thing I did, I grabbed the green background as my base, and then I put the picture of the Vespa on top of it and uh, feathered it in. That uh, gives me then the perfect uh, green background I need for all the pictures and because it's a movie I made it about 30 seconds long just to make uh, a bit of space for the five images where I'm putting the Vespa into it so 30, 30 seconds would, would be enough for that that's that's fine and um, yeah so that was the um, the start off and you can see here that I'm adjusting now the um, the length of the of the movie and select uh, green screen and then use the the little rubber to feather it in and the only thing you have to do then is save it Oh, you have to make sure it's on 4K. That's another thing you have to be very aware of. You have to do it in the best possible quality. So I named it uh, Green Screen 1. And make sure it is on 4K. And it's also on uh, the best uh, quality. And uh, always select that. Yeah, and then you save the file and uh, you go about it and uh, reload it. So once you have uh, uh, loaded it, you can see uh, with the Mac Studio that's just a few seconds for it to render that one. And then you take the original uh, Vespa out and now you replace the Vespa with the video you just done. And um, because now you have to make it sort of fit the images, that, have, that means you have to make it smaller. So you go to picture in picture, sort of center, bottom, make it a little bit bigger. You can make the which, whichever size you, you want. I mean, what, wherever you put it in, it makes no difference. And then you render it again. Make sure it is 4K and always the best quality. That's the most important thing because later when you want to do the screenshots, you want to have maximum uh, result. And uh, render it. And see what you can get. And the other thing is that um, with the picture in picture thing, you can really sort of set it wherever you want, whatever area you want in, and how big you want it. It's, it's all it's all there. So now we grab that uh, image, or oh, that little video clip we just done, and then 
what we do, we pack the um, uh, pictures in where we want the Vespa in front of. I mean, I've done that all in one size. If I would do it uh, for that friend of mine again, I would adjust every single size. And uh, what you can see here now, oh yeah, I had to put the picture off because I didn't realize that it was ramping in, so I took the front out, and so that's fine. Yeah, so now we have done all that, then we go back to uh, green screen, and there you have it. All your images have now the Vespa in it with a little bit of a hint of a shadow underneath. Okay, you save it. I called it this time the uh, screen screen final. Make sure it's 4K, best quality, and uh, compress is best quality. And off you go. Save it. And um, That's it. That's all you have to do. So you don't have to fart us around with programs and whatever, you know, you have to buy probably programs to do that with and all that. Here you have um, iMovie, which is free, and it does it all for you. Yeah, and here you get the final result. And you can stop that video at any moment, make it uh, full screen, and uh, take your screenshots. And there you have it. Okay, guys, I hope that helped. See you later. Have fun. Bye-bye.